All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So we have Slade here. What's up, guys? So we are going to be talking about that beautiful, beautiful list. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like it. I, I love this list. <laughs> I was like, wow, Konami, <laughs> I'm so proud of you. <laughs> yeah, it pretty much um, ensures that my deck is going to be the best deck. <laughs> oh, oh, you mean Necros. Yeah. Oh, I'm about to say... Not black wings. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I'm like, uh, I don't think so, Slade. <laughs> no, no, black, wings. black wings are. Actually, I saw a post on Zodiac and it was like, um, it's 2015. You'll never see black wings and the best deck in the same sentence. And then the comment after that was, unless R not is in between them. Damn. <laughs> I thought that was really funny. I should have a right. Biden picture. <laughs> Yeah. And it's uh, it's like a, it's like that episode of SpongeBob where they were uh, trying to get that band together, and Squidward's like, "Oh, let's talk about the top decks of the new meta." And then, I forgot what he said, but he's like, "No, that's not the top meta." And then uh, Patrick raises his hand again, and he's like, "Black wings aren't either." I'm like, "Damn!" Yeah, I've seen that. It's funny. Yeah, it's that's funny. A dick. <laughs> I have seen. Uh, all right, so you got the list open. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well. Here, I'm about to. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Icarus right now. Okay, so, like usual, we'll just go ahead and go one at a time down the list. Let's go ahead and discuss. Damn. You can go ahead and, since I'm playing right now, you can go ahead and name the cards off. Alright, so first, the Dragon Rulers. What do you think of that? Okay. Out? Um, the only one that doesn't matter, well, actually, I guess the only one that doesn't matter is Redox. The other ones were all being played in, in semi competitive decks, so, uh, yeah. I don't know. I, don't, uh, I think, like, what I'm saying is, I think Redox could have stayed at one for, like, plants, and that would have been kind of cool. <laughs> but that's all I have to say, really. I don't know. Don't, but, wait, oh, but no. in, the Dragon Rulers in general are ban-worthy, in my opinion, yeah. Uh, uh, well, even with what, even with Redox, you could still do the play, so. Because mm. you would just go summon Dark Matter, send Eclipse Rive, and send whatever dragon, send Redox. Redox would banish the Eclipse Rive, and then the other dragon, and bam, there you go. So you only need one Dragon Ruler for the combo. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I guess that would then. Well, yeah, because you only need to, because you get to send them to the graveyard for free, so, I don't know. I don't, I mean, do you think it was directly because of, of Dark Matter? Uh, I think it had, it, it, I think it influenced it, because literally our list is copy-paste. Copy-pasta. <laughs> like, <laughs> I've, like, I thought we were our, you know, our own separate entity from OCD, but I've never seen them copy so fucking much. Well, I... I mean, right, I, I should do that. I should do that. But I'm not saying that the movements were bad. They're, they were fine choices. I you know. I'm happy. But you know, I'm the, uh, to commend TCG Konami for coming up with these genius ideas. Just like you just copied OCG. <laughs> I, I think. I think that. Um, I I still kind of want the ban list to go back together at some point. Not as I'm not. What I'm not saying is that we should get the OCG ban list. What I am saying is that they should eventually have like a middle ground and not I'm not just saying just for worlds I'm saying like in general I liked it better when the bandlists were the same I don't know maybe that's just me but uh, uh I, I mean I, I personally I like separate lists you know we have two different games and I love yeah, the most set. people do most and people now, like and now I really like that they're set precedents I really like that you know it might be best for people who like make a bandlist prediction to just wait until OCD gets their list and then say something you know um yeah yeah well all right I don't know uh so the next one was snatch deal Oh, thank you. I, and I like there was like a ton of people are like, oh no, Snatch Deal doesn't deserve to be banned. Like, hello, have you seen this card? It's, it's fucking stupid. It steals games. Yeah. I, I, you know what? You know what? I have a feeling no opponent's gonna snatch steal my fucking hand right now. <laughs> That's a good point. Well, wait, wouldn't it negate it? No, I oh don't no, you just negated more every. Yeah, okay. I don't Sorry. have a choice. Sorry. Yep. It's not terrible. Um, I'm negate though. Gish oh no, he's more his, his fucking Gishki search. God damn. Right. That's like the most. It, Moray Breed is such a cool card. I don't know why people don't play it. Like I know Gishkis do, but I don't know. Like, doesn't Moray Breed seem like it would be a really good card? Yeah. Like, why isn't? Why doesn't? Why don't? I mean, I guess Mermails are just kind of consistent, but damn, I don't know. I like Moray Breed. <laughs> that was kind of a tangent there, but okay. So Snatch Deal. Um. I I thought that it was gonna get banned. I think it's banned worthy. Yeah. Uh. I don't think that it had anything to do with Hidden Armory, though. Like, I, I just think that... I don't think so either. I think, yeah. I think that they just wanted to unban it, see as an experiment, see, you know... It was like six cents. It was like six cents. 
Well, Sixth Sense was more of the money card. That was the money maker. Oh, for Joey's World? Yeah. But, but Snatch Deal, that was more of an experiment. I think they actually asked, they talked to some uh, people in Europe about it, some top uh, Konami people in Europe, and they're like, yeah, it was just an experiment to see what would happen. It's like, yeah, and it was a failure. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's like, oh, it just got unbanned. It, it, it's not going to get rebanned. <laughs> get rebanned, bitch. <laughs> Make sure you don't activate <clears throat> anything on the field. I'm surprised he didn't go for um, Zeal Gigas. He had it, but I guess maybe he didn't have what he needed to ritual summon it for. I don't know. I can't tell. I can't tell what he's gonna do if I can't see his entire hand. <laughs> but yeah, Snatch Deal is uh, totally. I, I thought that. I thought that was. Oh, they quit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's get another one then. Back. All right. Yeah, we need. To, we need to hurry this up. We're like, yeah, okay. Insane. Limited right. cards. We got uh, Sinister Serpent. That's fine. He can go up to three. Sinister Serpent can go to Sinister Serpent can go to one without an errata. You, what do you think about that? No, it's too late now. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. But what do you think about that? Do you think they'll? That's what I was talking to my friend um, Anti Meta Man about this. Do you think they'll errata it back? No. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> Shit! After they fucking if it goes to three with that errata, they errata they... reprint it in fucking OCG. It comes over here, reprints it here. Why the fuck would they just change it back? No, it's stuck like that. Yeah, you're right. If they're going to put in the effort to do all the changes and reprints and all that shit, then there's really no point in putting it back. So just enjoy shitty Sinister Serpent until he gets unlimited. Then maybe he can do a little bit better. Well, But with Mathematician at 1 in the OCG, I mean, I don't know. Um, I should have said the mic before you. Sorry. It's fine. Uh, next, well, yeah, I think Sinister Serpent is absolutely horrible, and I don't think it should have gotten around. But next we have Tour Guide. I... They were a little bit more conservative than me. I was thinking two. I didn't think they were gonna go that far. Well, the only that's the only hit to the deck was Tour Guide. I mean, I I know you said Vanities, but Vanities was kind of a hit to everything. So yeah. I, don't know. I think I think Tour Guide was like you hit Dante. You know what I mean? They didn't hit Dante. So. Yeah, I, I thought Tour got the and Dante both the two would be yeah, you know, not so, a killing hit, but a nice start off like the tap and then the kill. But you know, hitting Tour got the one. I didn't see that coming. You know, I, I mean, so, I thought that maybe Tour Guide was gonna hit. Be, get hit because it had set precedence on you know since it was on the list previously but it, ne it was never limited i thought they were going to put it to two and then put it to one but um okay well i mean i, I don't, as a chaos like as, as that being one of my casual decks is chaos dragons you know you'd think i'd be upset about that but i only run i only run the one um tour guide actually so it's kind of lackluster but you know uh we didn't get chaos emperor dragon back which is kind of disappointing for me as a chaos player because you know it didn't get printed in premium gold too but we did. Uh, we'll talk about that later. We did get one card that was on my cast deck. Um, all right, we got Dragon Ravine. That's fun. I, yeah, I, we... Like I said, uh, you know, this. All oh, right, I can't do any damage. Totally forgot about that. That's so booty. You get to draw the card, and I can't do any damage. <laughs> <laughs> I drew a good card though. I drew a Panaka, which will combo with the Icarus. But um, yeah. What do you think about Dragon Ravine being at one while Shrine is still at three? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter, because Dragon Rose are banned. Never mind. Dragon Rose are banned. Uh, I think that the card could just literally go back up, but the reason why it didn't go back up is because that's another copy pasta. <laughs> that's, that's, that, yeah, that's literally another copy pasta, because despite banning the Dragon Rose, OCG didn't put Ravine any higher than one, either. What do you think about, what do you think about Dragunity? I don't give a shit. I hate that deck, though. So linear. <laughs> no, oh my god, no. I mean, it is... The first turn play is linear, but after that, I think I think it's pretty cool. Like I, I don't know. I think it's I think it's a cool combo deck. But um, I like the wombo combo thing. You you saw that right? Because the majority of the time I see I see fucking Dragunity, they fucking flip up that assault mode, and I want to punch them in the face. So. <laughs> oh yeah, that's cool. That's like a, a deck that that's probably the only deck like the only archetype that can like legitimately use an assault mode card, right? It's disgusting because they because they can make starters so easily. So easily, so I don't know. Started started somewhat is crazy. Um, okay. Okay. Oh oh, wait, was that ravine that I used it in? Oh hell yeah! I can play. I used to play this deck. Asian eyes uh, did it, and I used to play it. It was um. It was. Hmm. I don't want to do it. It was just pokey poke. Yes. 
It was. Twas. What's that prize card? The synchro. Not the new one. The old oh one. my god. The Ascension Dragon? No, I said not the new one. The old one. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> level the level eight one. The one that does burn damage. Oh that synchro monster, the level eight synchro monster? I forgot his name. That burns for set cards? It's not set cards, it's cards your opponent controls. Um Oh. I know who you're talking about. I just can't remember. Okay, yeah. The, the somebody commented. But um that card so it's basically a lock with that card, uh, and black garden and you use your unities, so that's why Dragon Ravine Boost State is because you can use you know that to get the duck uh, the uh ducks in your hand. So you know you, the point is if you go um ducks what's the equipment called? Phalanx. If you go ducks phalanx Vajriana phalanx um that that card yeah the level eight guy that's five summons so it'll fill your opponent's field with tokens and you put it in defense mode so they can't crash the tokens and then it'll just you just you just pass and then it'll burn for game in four turns. Mm. So it's it's, sacky. <laughs> it's 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 extremely sacky and it's much more consistent with Ravine. Mm. So uh, I'm glad that I I used to play that and win rated rated singles on DN just to troll. It's it's really easy and simple. I mean terraforming is at three, so you can just go terraforming, get your Ravine if you need it. You can go terraforming, get the uh, the Black Garden. <clears throat> Excuse me, and you can use uh, Dragon Shrine to get the thing in the graveyard. And I won't play it in this deck, but another thing about Dragunities is that Harpy Harpist also searches ducks. So uh, Harpy Harpist might be played in Dragunities now. Uh, Harpy Harpist also searches Bestiary, which doesn't matter because Bestiary has like 12 search cards. What's this do? All right. I'm seriously trying bestiary, to forget what we'll to do. I, I'm trying to figure out what this man is planning, but I'm not seeing it right now. He's just going to make some rank 8 try. Um, all right, so next is uh, Preparation of Rights. Oh, right. Preparation of Rise. Uh, it, totally, totally justifiable hit. Uh, when it comes to rituals, uh, that card is busted. I mean, it kind of sucks that they got a yeah. generic ritual support for just Necros, because if Necros never existed, that card would never be hit. But, uh, 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 but I don't like that argument, because, I mean... I mean, I mean, that's what a ton of people are thinking. I don't give a shit, because I don't care about yeah, it. As, I don't care about rituals. As a Necros, no a lot of people say that Valk is the best card in the deck. As a Necros player, I think that Preparation of Rise is the best card in the deck, because it's a plus one. It's not really hard to figure out. You just have to have a ritual spell in your graveyard. It's a plus one. Yeah, uh, if I activate something, right? Yeah, I'm getting again. All right, I have to let my shake get run over, which kind of sucks. Yeah, I don't have to or anything. Um, but but yeah, I think I didn't actually think it was gonna get like I didn't predict that to happen. Uh, I didn't actually think Necroz was gonna get hit really, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm I'm fine with that because Necroz is still the best deck as we'll, we'll figure out as we go through the rest of this list. Yep. Uh, yeah. uh, still, just another just another copy pasta. Mm -hmm. Uh, next we have sacrifice. Copy pasta, but I, I, you know what? I think that was the predicate. I really do. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, like they said, like a, a equip card having four different good effects is just too much. Yeah, I was, I was actually thinking that when I saw it, is that you know, when I first read sacrifice, I'm like, this card has way too many effects, and when I first saw the ban list, I'm like, yeah, they hit the equip card because it has like twelve effects, All right? <laughs> uh. Search here. If I activate Clue, it won't get negated, correct? No, it's just on the field. But will, but will Shuri get negated if I activate in the damage step? Yes. Okay, shit. So I don't know what to do. Damn it. I guess I'll just save some for my hand. Um. I'll add Chris and hope that I draw Black Whirlwind. <clears throat> I do that a lot. <laughs> uh. What were, what were we talking about again? Oh, sacrifice. Yes, that's the that's. The card that was uh, professing the usage of, of Storm, like the spell card, just regular Storm in in Cleese, which was really powerful combo play, which got them a lot of searches. It also cleared their scales. Um, if they overused their scales and didn't have a, a place to put a uh, scout. Uh, but um, I don't know. I think it's a, it's a, it's a good hit. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, so... Next, we have Symbol of Heritage. Just for Lone Fire. There's also an F there's a Blaze Phoenix FTK that involves um, Instant Fusion Noden, so that, that also has Symbol of Heritage in it. Uh, 
But yeah, yeah. The reason is because of Lone Fire. Because as, as we'll see later, Lone Fire went to three. You can just go Lone Fire, Lone Fire, Lone Fire, and that makes Symbol of Heritage active. So. Oh, you yeah. better enjoy it, motherfucker. You better enjoy it. What? Enjoy what? Did you, did you see what he, he pits from his hand? Uh, no. <laughs> Title. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's another thing. Lightsworn are good. Like, the, the definitive version of Lightsworn is the one that uses the rulers to banish um, Eclipse Wyvern. What do you think? Uh, how do you think Lightsworn. Oh, shit. Damn it. That wasn't good. Nope. Alright. Well, anyway. Uh, Temple of the Kings is next. That card's absolutely unplayable. That card will that card you cannot play Temple of the Kings in any deck. It's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. It's a terrible card. Like it went from completely and utterly broken out of the out of my mind because you can just win if you activate it to being the worst card in Yu-Gi-Oh. Like it's such a bad card. It's such a bad card. That's why it's at three in the OGD now. So bad. Right? Definitely. Yeah. It's so bad. Probably go up to three. Mystical Beast of Circuit. Really? That that card? How do you summon that? You can't. Exactly. No, and, you like and that's thing. They made it worse than it had to be. They did not have to make it a fusion monster. I would have been completely fine if somebody just, whatever, summoned Quasar or whatever. If they can get a Mystical Beast of Circuit and Temple of the Kings in their hand, and they summon Quasar with it, I'm completely, I'm okay with that. I'm really, I really am. I'm okay with that. So, whatever. I, I don't know. I, don't, I didn't like it. What the hell is he doing? Going off. What, what's in his, oh, he's playing zombies. That's kind of cool. What do you mean, GG? Do we lose? Probably. If he can do all that. Oh! Fuck! Wow. Fuck, he has two of them? Damn it! Wow. Ah! We, we've lost to this card before. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Damn! That's exact game. Oh, of course it is, because there's two and they take half mm -hmm. like, shit. Let's get another game in. I want to keep talking. Okay, you're all right. Now some booty. All right. So, what card were we on before we got? We're on Temple, Temple of the. We were on Temple of the Kings. We just talked about how that card's absolutely terrible. But uh, we're on Crush Card now. Crush Card's. I think it's playable, but I don't think it'll be played. Like I don't think it's the worst card ever, but it's not good anymore. Mm -mm. Um. Wow. I'm opening up the same shit every game. All right. Still probably powerful enough to stay at one though. I disagree. I think really, it, you think you should go up to multiples? Yeah. No. I need to check. I need to check what those. I know that in the OCG, the Chaos Emperor Dragon is still a one, and I know that Sinister Serpent, Temple of the Kings, and Exchange of the Spirit all went to three. But I'm not sure about Ring of Destruction and um. They're still at one. Ring of Destruction and Cross Card are still a one. Yeah. Okay. Uh. No, I'm off that. Okay. Uh. Well, I don't know. I think. Multiple crush cards. Hell no. Mm -mm, no. <laughs> Fucking burning well, abyss will hit your ass over and over again. Pick everything out of your hand. Fuck that shit. No, I'm not. Well, what are the downsides now? They get to send monsters from their. They they can't. That's stupid. It shouldn't have been optional. It should be. They they have to send. Like I don't know. It's not even like sending monsters from your deck to the. Excuse me. Deck to the graveyard is bad anyway because. At, at the least, even if you're, even if they don't get effects, like even if they're not Fire Kings or Ring of Us or whatever, it's deck thinning by three. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So like even in, I mean, unless you're playing heroes who only play like two monsters and would never want to send them to the graveyard, um, <laughs> you, you know, like I don't see a big problem in sending cards from the deck to the graveyard. But uh, then there's the the no damage thing, which, like, I don't know. I, I I always seem to forget about that that you can't do damage. Does that matter? Do you think? I guess you just can't get you can't OTK them after you clear their field. Yeah. I um. But but yeah. So besides burning abyss, what what decks or uh, what cards will be utilized to, to to use that? Just burning abyss, really. Just burning abyss, you think? Okay, it's a thousand or less attack then. So that's like most of them, right? Yeah. It's I know it's Skarm. I know it's not it's not Seer or Graf though. Seer and Graf are sixteen and twelve. So. Uh, it depends on the kind of burn. I don't know which burning abyss monsters are being played and which ones aren't at this point. I, yeah. no I, I want to see what they do with you know with one tour guide. I want to see if you know they run more burning abyss monsters and which ones are going to be ran and all that mm. good shit. That was a oh we, ah, we, lost, okay. we gotta do one more. We gotta do one more. Okay, we're right back. Oh. Max gets that one right now. 
Oh, okay. So there yeah. is probably going to be Dark Matter. Dark Matter, yeah. Okay, so the next card that we're talking about is Exchange of Spirit. Um, I personally, like, love this. Oh, I'm going first. Okay. I personally love this card, Zerata. Um, I think it's perfect. All I have to do is make it both players um, at 15. So it's pretty much the same card without the unfair FDK thing, or I guess technically an OGK. And then um, there's the the once for dual thing, which I don't think should affect it that much. But what I wanted to ask you, Daniel, is is there like a deck, like not even a meta deck, just an archetype deck, a deck that people play that can use Exchange of Spirit? And if so, how do they use it? Light Swords. How do they use it? They just mill a whole bunch and then they play Exchange of Spirits and they flip their graveyard with their deck so they can pretty much just grab back all their JDs, all the shit that they milled. And so then possibly get... mill out their opponent, deck out their opponent. So both players have to have 15. You think that'll be worth it? It, it seems kind of slow to me. I'm not I'm not being an, like antagonistic no, about it. I mean... It's a it's a, it's a fun card now, you know. It's not the exchange of spirit that it used to be. I'll give you that. Mm -hmm. It could go up to three because you can only play one once per duel. But you know, I think that was a fine errata. I have no complaints with that one. Yeah, I like that errata a lot. And I th I mean, yeah, they they like. I know that they have the thing where they want to put banned cards back to one first, but like it's a once per duel card. Like, what can you do about a once per duel card? Well, Bob is still at one, so. Well, that's okay, but I, I didn't. That's hmm. That's a good point. Because that's different because I know... You know what card most... didn't move? Why is it different? You know what I mean? Like, you know what card it... didn't move? What? Dark Strike. What, what's that at? One. Why? why? Oh, that's, that's interesting. Yeah, right. it didn't get that's, moved. That's the first time I've noticed that. Nobody played it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm like, wait, it didn't go up to two? <laughs> uh... And I didn't even say Gord. I, I didn't say Gord's this time because they didn't move Gord's last time. Freaking Konami. Well... Dragon stated too, which is important to Dra me. Try to strong even more. Better. All right. Uh, so next is. Oh, uh, ring ring of destruction is next. They balanced the hell out of that card. They 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 have changed that card. Maybe I still maybe like this it. duel I can't I shouldn't be able to go fucking first turn giant. <laughs> like, I've been doing that every single duel. <laughs> yeah, can you <laughs> give, me chance, give me a chance, man? I can't... <laughs> this giant hand. Giant hand. Giant hand. Giant hand. <laughs> I hope that he's playing. Yes, I haven't. I haven't played against this deck yet. I'm excited to see what he can do with this. All right. Oh, I guess my Delta Crow is kind of dead. That one Delta Crow that I play. Yep. Fuck. He's got all the feet. He's going Quasar. That's Quasar right there. That's Quasar. Yep. Nice. That is uh, the Quasar. I have Pollute, but he can negate that. So. Yep. Hmm. I mean, I have Gale though, also. So I can, I can attack. Yeah, here, I, I think I can out this somehow. I think I can do it. I'm Actually, he'll, he'll negate the Gale. Yeah, I can just summon Gale. He'll negate the Gale, and then I can flute over him. So yeah, we got this. Oh no, he's just going for Nut Destroyer. Okay. Let's see what happens from here. He pops some cards. All your cards. Fuck. <laughs> 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 um. All right. So what, where were we? Oh yeah, ring instruction. So um, I don't know. I don't. I don't really think it balanced the card as much as it did like make it so they can't tie. You saw the new ruling, right? The new ruling about life points. Mm -hmm. If somebody's life points go to zero in the middle of the chain, the duel ends. So um, that's pretty interesting. So you know that means that you, can, you It's impossible for you to tie with just ring instruction. Um, so that's been your opponent's turn, which I think was kind of unneeded. Uh, but it also has to be your opponent's monster. I don't know. That is that is kind of balancing, I guess. Yeah, so you can't just uh, say, like, attack, 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 attack. But oh, it's, it's pop, stupid because. Done lane phase two or something stupid like that and just wrap up. The, the burn middle. damage used to be, like, the better effect, but now the burn damage is by far the worst effect. Like, you're only using Ring of Destruction for the, the pop. And it's still a chainable, it's still a chainable monster, uh, chainable trap that. I won't your go in giant hand. Like... But it's only, yeah, again, right. But no, it's only chainable, I, 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 it's only chainable during your opponent's turn. Um,. Skill Drain is next. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I've been asking for that card to be limited ever since I started YouTubing like almost three years ago. Every time I did a fucking balance, I was like, Skill Drain to one. Skill I Drain to one, it... please. Even when it wasn't even relevant, I was like, please put this card down to one. But now since fucking please, like, thank you. <laughs> I think that this will... Oh, oh my neck rolls. Nice. Great. <laughs> oh, I wanted to have a fun duel. Not a fucking <laughs> boring ass watch yourself, finger yourself duel. I don't like Necros. I think that I do. I think that um, 
this card along with Bendy's are not as I don't necessarily think it's going to be a better format. Like, I don't think those two changes make it a better format. I do think it's going to be a better format. I don't think necessarily that limiting the floodgates is going to make it a better format, but I do think that it will make it, like, interesting in a different way. So, like, you don't have to worry about vanities and, and skill drain all the time. That's why a lot of people are talking... Oh, snatch deal. <laughs> a lot of people were talking about with Necro. Oh, how can't wait for that. To... You might not even have to uh, main MST anymore, so... I'm still gonna main MST. I'm, I'm still gonna main MST. Yeah, but you, you, I guess you don't really have to. And then vanities, uh, another hit to Klee. Oh Wow, you're another Black Whirlwind. So, what do you think about vanities? Yes. I think um, we could have gone to two first, but that's just me. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Fuck that. Yep. I love it at one. Thank you. What could that set card be? Like Shrit? What the fuck? Oh my god. Um. Uh, we're literally gonna get our ass beat by a single Necros player. That other guy doesn't even need to need to duel. What does this thing do? Who? Does he do anything on the field? Silent Honor Arc? Silent Honor Dark. Does he do, do anything no. in my turn? Yeah. Like, can I activate Gale right now? Yes. Okay. Alright. I'm using way too many resources to get over this guy. And he yeah. snatched stole him, so it's not like even... Yep. Whatever. Can't wait for uh, the card to be gone. Alright. Nope, I get absolutely nothing. It's awesome. Alright, next we have... We gotta go through these quick. Jeez, we're still in the semi limits. We got Scout. That's fine. Yeah, Scout's just a copy-paste, so that's fine. A good hit. Uh, Brynak. That's not a copy-paste. Yeah, they hit it to the one, right? When we hit it to two. And yeah, we didn't even they... hit Mondry or Sundry either, so... Yeah, I'm glad. I'm so glad they didn't Mondry. So glad that they, all they hit was was Brynak and Prep. Like I'm just I'm just excited because I know that that deck's gonna be the best. Yep. Um. But you know, two two Brynak is a really small hit, which kind of sucks. Uh, <laughs> like it's I don't know. I think that if they were gonna hit Necroz, that they could have done a little bit more. But they didn't, which I'm okay with because they play it. Yeah, they could have uh, done a little bit more. They could have just if they, they I think they they could have copied OCG a little bit more. You know. Damn, OCG uniform. has like. Yeah, OCG has like. What, nine Necroz cards in the ban list? They have Cycle, Bionic, Unicor, Valkyris. They have Valkyris? Uh, no, they have Valkyris. Let's see. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'll, I don't they have, have Manju and Senju. If they preparation. Have, they have, no, they have, they have Manju. Senju is unlimited again. Oh, yeah. Senju was at one, and they put it to three. And, mm -hmm. and Manju's at two right now, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's kind of weird. Um, all right, but then we have uh, Shein, which you said as long as Gateway doesn't come back, you're fine with double Shein, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, yeah, I agree with that. Uh, I think Shein's fine. Um, and then we have Charger Light Brigade, which is the card that I was talking about earlier that, that you know, boosts my Chaos deck, which is really nice because um, it's just a free mill. It's a really powerful card, and I called this, I posted it on Zodiac um, two days ago. I'm like, Charge of Light Brigade has gotten three reprints recently. It was reprinted in Structure Deck, it was reprinted in Astral Pack, and then got reprinted in Premium Gold 2. I'm like, there's no way this card's going to stay at 1. And it didn't. It went to 2, just like I said. So, I'm uh, really good. It, it's a good makeup for the fact that... Oh, God, he is, he is Jin. That card should have got hit. Yeah, people have said that it might get banned, honestly. Uh, but, because, you know, people went to 1. But, yeah. So, uh, it's a good makeup for cats and, for not getting cats and for dragging back, even though the card's... Still pretty broken. Cast Number Dragon with the Rat is still pretty broken. Um, okay. Sacred Sword of Seven Stars. This one makes me mad. I can go up to three. It should have been to three now. There's no reason it should be a two. And then, speaking of which, Gold Stark is still a one. I think that card could go to two. Nope. I think it could go to two. Nope. I, it's it's nope. just a generic search card. I mean, it's the only reason... The only, reason it, it, the only reason it wouldn't isn't because of whatever you're going to say. The only reason it wouldn't in the meta is because of Ritual Beasts can use it pretty well. Um, all right. Next Fuck we have the piece of shit. <laughs> the baby dragons are at three. That that's literally nothing because they can't be used for anything except beaters now, right? They're they're essentially normal monsters, right? Yep. Uh, spirit. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Well, people care because fire fists have literally all of their cards at at three. Tankies at three. Wolf at three. Spirits at three. So. Um. 
I guess Blaster's banned, though. They used to play with, like, one Blaster. But Bestiary, what do you think about that, finally? I don't like Glads. But that's long overdue. I, st I personally don't like Glad, so... <laughs> but the deck... The deck hasn't been meta since 2008. I don't like glads. <laughs> All right, I got you. Shit. <laughs> um, I don't care so... if it's not meta, relevant, or good or anything. I don't like glads. I also don't like heroes. So those two people complaining about those two, I didn't give two fucks. <laughs> you mentioned gores a little bit. What do you think about gores to three now? I said gores to fucking three last list and it didn't happen, so I gave up and I didn't say it this list. But I don't care. You know, Trag is stronger than gore, so. Yeah, the thing about gore is, like, well, I guess with emptiness being at, at well, wait, not emptiness. Never mind, never mind. That doesn't matter because you can't summon gores with emptiness, obviously. Um, yeah. Winda is the one I was thinking of, but Winda's a three, so it doesn't matter because with Winda, if you summon gores, you don't get a token, and that kind of sucks. But uh, well, Shell's gonna get hit on all. So gores is just like field presence is kind of important. You know, there aren't there many decks that don't have cards on the field. You know, I, like, I hate uh, this duel. What? It's just, a, it's just a plant, it's just, or not a plant, it's just junk, uh, junk topple just going off. We're fucking necros, like fucking, what are you, what are you two having a com fucking competition to see who can fucking have the longest turn? <laughs> Shit. Well, necros isn't really, the necros guy didn't really do much, he just set the gin. Like, oh. Activated snatch steel. <laughs> yeah. Um, alright, lone fire. So that's like the biggest reason that Symbol of Heritage went to one is because you can go lone fire, lone fire, lone fire, and it makes Symbol of Heritage live. I... Uh, Personally, I really, I mean, I get it. You're copying and pasting from the OCG, but I really didn't think Hell on Fire ever needed to go up to anything higher than two. Nope. If symbol, or if Snatch Steel didn't get banned, I think that plants with Hidden Armory would definitely be a thing. Because getting uh, Symbol of Heritage into your hand what, with Lone Fire is really, really powerful. And you can just toolbox the Hidden Armory with the, with the Snatch Steel. So you'd have like two targets with three of them and you can recycle them. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, but then again, you do have to normal summon the Lone Fire most likely to get its effect, so. And it's not like you can super soul a nutrient, because you have to normal summon to get the nutrient. I mean, I guess you could set Dandy and then nutrient on the next turn, but that's kind of slow. Uh, <laughs> but uh, next we have Goyo. No, oh, I don't care. I just can go up to three. Yeah, well, I don't know why people don't care about it. Uh, it's still played. I mean, it's not played in multiples, but I'm just saying that it is, it is played. You know, it's not like Dark Strike Fighter where literally nobody plays it. Dark Strike Fighter is still at one though. <laughs> yeah. What's up? With, what's up with that? I guess they they moved so many cards though. You know what I mean? Like they they but what they were like. I can count it. I have like a picture on my phone. That has the... I mean, it wasn't like what September 2012 bad. I don't know what happened in September. Is that like when plants got slaughtered? No, that was the list where everything got moved, like Heavy Storm, Stratos, and all the shit got... Where we separated. That was in... That was not... That was in 2012. Wasn't it? That was in, 2013, that was in 2013. Because that happened when I was playing. No, it was in 2013. Really? That was 2013? Yeah, because I didn't start playing until 2013. <laughs> um, uh, I feel like it was much... It was... I thought it was... It was September... It was September 2013. Dude, it's 2015 right now. I know. Look. I'm old. <laughs> I don't but know what anyway, time it is. Uh, yeah, so let me see. The amount of cards you get. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. 32 cards got moved. Yeah. 32 cards. It's a lot. That's not as bad as, sep as like September 2013, right? That was like 50 cards, wasn't it? I don't know. It was not 50 cards. Nah. It was, it was, really close, 50 to cards. It was close to 50. That's, that's a shit ton. Damn. It's like 40 This, this is... This is a bigger ban list than I thought, though, um, because, you know, shorter formats, so, you know, normally the ban lists are small. Um, no, this is right, the, example, the Nationals list, so. Convocation is the last card to talk about. I said that was going to go up to three. You said I was going to go up to three. Everybody said the card's going to go up to three. Yeah, but I thought it was going to go up to three to promote fucking Dark Matter, and they banned those rulers, so I don't know what the hell they're thinking. <laughs> I mean, I guess they don't want the rulers. <laughs> I guess they don't want the Dark Matter thing in the game. Um, yeah, I guess they just said, you know, fuck it. It's funny, though, because if Heratics become meta again, because they've done this twice. Heratics were meta, they hit Convocation, they stopped being meta, and they put Convocation to three, and then Heratic Rulers with the the Heratic Seal of whatever, the, the, the trap card, you know, the one that sent, sends and then banishes. That card became popular, and then Heratics became meta again, and they put Con Convocation to two, and they stopped being meta. So now it's back to three, so I feel like Heratics are going to make some sort of comeback, and they'll put that back to two, and they'll just die again. That's so gay. It's, I mean, but it's it's stupid because it just keeps going from two to three to two to three, and it never goes to one or gets banned or anything, and Heratics never get anything else hit. 
Oh, it's fucking cheater. Is he playing Necroz and playing Ancient Leaf? That's terrible. Oh, no, he's playing... Okay. Still, it's terrible. No, no, no. Let's see if he sacks us with this mill. Let's see, uh, see if he can mill the Dandy. I'm getting really sick and tired of just sitting here watching this. Mill the Spore. Oh, you mill the Ancient Leaf. Um, okay, so wait. That's, that's another thing I want to talk about. You said that it's the Nationals ban list. This ban list doesn't have an end date. Do you think that means that they're going to um, edit it before Nationals? I have no idea. I have no idea. I mean, idea. A, a lot of people were saying that it was just a Konami goof. Like... I don't know if you saw I this. I think it but... has to do something with some some tournament in Europe, and I think they're still debating on when they want to cut the list off. Because um, the reason that I the reason that I mentioned that it, it's probably not a Konami goof is because there was another Konami goof. Um, all the cards that were from semi limited to unlimited, it said S E I M I, so like semi limited. But they fixed that, but they didn't fix the end date. So clearly that's on purpose. So I'm, I'm interested to see what that could mean. Oh uh, shit! This will grab Blizzard. Uh, All right, that's pretty much everything. Okay. I mean, Time Seal is still banned for some stupid reason. Out of all the shit to fucking draw, are you shitting me? Wow. What do you think about uh, the errata on Dark Magician of Chaos? Uh, that's good. That's good. It actually takes some of the worry. That I was having about Demont coming. Part back. of it was just P part of it was just PCST, but so it basically it makes it so it can only be it can only happen once, and it's during the end phase. That's it, right? Yeah, that's that's fine. And then the the banish both ban both effects that involve banishing are still relevant. He still gets banished when he's re he's removed from the field, and he still gets uh, to banish all the monsters he destroys by battle. Um, yeah, that's probably game. I don't know. I still think that Demont was was fine, but you know. Out of all the fucking shit to draw, yeah. That's fucking awesome. What'd you draw? Fucking Kage. <laughs> well, you can use it, can't you? No. Oh, no, you can't, because it... Uh, never mind. For some reason, I thought that was a search card. The hell It's literally called Reborn. Um, <laughs> Alright. What do you think about... A lot of people thought that Gear to Gear would return. What do you think about Gear to Gear being born? That's fine. Oh. Yeah, I'm. I I think it's better at one. Honestly, I don't. I don't want it to three because I think the Yuga Kakuri are still fine of a deck. Like I still think they're fine. Mm -hmm. um, Birdman's still at one too. Yep. So. Well, we lose. You lost. Yeah, most definitely. A lot You're of down on resources. That... I'm down on resources, and these two are fucking marathoning it up. This video's forty minutes long. Well, we did have to talk about the ban list. Um. A lot of I, I was thought... more focused on us talking about the ban list in this fucking duel, because this duel's stupid. Yeah, me too. It's cool. Um, <clears throat> I thought that, or I saw that a lot of people were predicting that cards like um, Confiscation or the Forceful Century, people thought like one of those cards would, would go to one. What do you think about that? No. You don't think those cards are balanced? No. All right. Uh, I thought that if, if Trap Dust Shoot gets unbanned... Uh, stop looking in sh people's hands. Shit. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think if Tra Trap Dust Shoot gets unbanned, I literally think they'll just ban Minecraft. Like, I just think it'll go... Because everybody's playing it. Yeah, everybody's I, 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 playing I'm Minecraft. actually surprised that Minecraft didn't get hit either. Um, I want to see what... My, Minecraft has been on the list before. Minecraft has been at two, right? It's been at one. Wow. Because I know with Dust Shoot, though, some, some pretty bad times. I don't know. I don't really mind. Well, because Crush Card's at one now. So what are you talking about, hand access? <laughs> what? Oh, that's what I'm saying. So you think Crush Card should be re -banned? No, no, no. What do you think about Mind Hacksaws? I think Crush Card should be at one, and I think and I think Mind Crush should be at one. What do you think about Mind Hacksaws? I don't even know what the fuck that is. Look it up. It, it, you pay a thousand life points to look at all your opponent's uh, set cards in No one's going to play that. No one's going to play that. Obviously, nobody's going to play it, but right. it's kind of... But Minecraft, on the other hand, the card's a little bit too powerful um, to be at triple. Especially so, given how fast the game is and how everybody searches like that. Mm -mm. We still don't have a mass spell trap disruption. Can you, card. Uh, uh, can you hurry up and end this? Shit. <laughs> With Klee hit, do uh, you think that was like. A lot of people thought that the hit to Klee would just be to bring back Heavy Storm. Or Heavy Feather Duster, but, uh, you know. 
that didn't happen. <laughs> yes. Cool, cool. We got in this video. Yep. It's fucking 40 minutes. Um, in the last 20 of them were just them sitting here fucking fingering themselves. At least we got through the band list. Yep. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it. So, I apologize for this video being so long. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't even do scheduled upload anymore. I gotta upload it naturally now. Fuck. Alright, so, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Thank you, Sight, for joining me. Oh, yeah, that was, this is fun. And, I gotta uh, get my opinions out there. Yep. And uh, if I haven't seen you in a mega cast video, I'll see you guys tomorrow with Stu and Stanzi. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.